Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, for whenever you're viewing this. Hello! So I went to Japan for my honeymoon, which was a great decision, and bought a shit ton of stuff. Without further ado, here's the haul that I got from the Japan trip. First off, Brett and I spent like $40 trying to get this Miku figurine from one of the like claw machines in Akihabara. So while we were in Japan, we like hit up almost every like row of gacha machines that we saw. We'd be like, oh my god, look at those gacha pawn. Let's go get some. And then you get one, you're like, I didn't want this character. Guess I have to spend another 300 yen. I'm a huge fan of Neko Atsume. I still play it on my phone like a bunch. And there are a bunch of really cute Neko Atsume, like little gacha pawns. So I got I got the little one. And it comes with the sheep pillow, which I like almost always have out in my game because I love it. <laughs> There were also really cute uh, gachapons in the Pokemon Center, like the really big, really, really, really big one in Sunshine City in Ikebukuro. I got a Charmander, and he's in a little teacup, and he's just like having a good time. And then there was another cute Pokemon thing uh, with different Pokemon, like doing little different poses with the substitute doll. I got Cubone which was cute, but there were other ones that were a lot cuter, but whatever. From a collection of gachapon machines in Ikebukuro, Ikebukuro. There were these, I don't know, like little Splatoon things. Uh, they were all the same design, they just like came in different colors. I was like the, the colors of the different ink in the game, and I got purple, which is, you know, not bad. I always like the, the pink ink the most in Splatoon, but, you know, purple's good. I just like Splatoon. I also got a Cardcaptor Sakura figurine from there, and I got my least favorite, but I, I was trying to be responsible and not get more, because I was like, what if I get another one of the same one? What if it's a sign? So I only did it once. Um, he's still cute, I just wanted, like, Sakura or Shaoren or Tomoyo, but yeah, I got Kero. Like, he's cute. I don't, I didn't have like one of him before, so I guess now I do. I still don't have a Shaoren or a Tomoyo, and like that needs to be fixed. So there are gacha like everywhere, especially in Tokyo. In Tokyo, they are everywhere. You cannot escape them. Uh, over by the Ginkakuji, there were ones, I forget what the others were, so I don't remember like if there was a theme, there must have been, uh, but it was Pokemon. And so we got a pin, and it's really cute, we got the best one, and it has Pikachu, and I guess a cup of matcha, and something else. So if you didn't know, I don't know how that's the case, but if you like literally just found me from this video, I love the Tales series. Like, I dropped so much money on this series. It's like, I think one of my oldest fandoms, and it seems to be something that I can't leave even if I wanted to. I would have missed these had I not happened to run into a friend in Akihabara. I think these were leftover goods from like a UFO table cafe or something, but they they do a lot of the animation for the Tales series, especially recently. They also did the animation for the Tales of Zisteria, the cross anime. So there were like notebooks and stuff, and obviously I had to get the one that's my zesty OTP. Like, I'm on the Sormic train, I'm, I'm on that boat, I'm on that ship, but like, this is my true OTP in Tales of Zisteria. I friggin love these two together, I don't care what anybody else says, they're the best. And there was also one uh, styled on the Celestial Record from Zisteria. And from a different store over in Kyoto, some bookstore, I got the Mutsumi Inomata artwork book from 2004 to 2015 for the Tales series. She does a lot of the character designs now, like she did uh, Mila 
from Tales of Exilia. Uh, I believe she also did Velvet from Tales of Berseria. And she has a really pretty art style. I don't always like her clothing designs. I think that's my like biggest beef with a lot of the stuff she designs for the Tales series where I'm like, what are those clothes? I'm looking at you, Velvet. What are those clothes? <laughs> from the tail store, I believe, I got this Rolo tin, or Lulu in Japanese, but Rolo, from Tales of Exilia 2. Uh, there were cookies inside, but I ate them already. I actually ate them all in Japan. I was like, I need these shortbread cookies. They were delicious. I got a mirror from Tales of Festival this year. Uh, there, there was like some pop-up store in Alta in Shinjuku. So they had a bunch of leftover Tales of Festival goods. And I kind of wish I would bought more. I went there and then I was like trying to like be like, no, don't spend all your money. Don't spend all your money. This is like your second day here. You got like nine more days. I did buy a mirror. Because I only have one other mirror and it's just like a really tiny one that I brought to conventions and stuff if I like want to check my makeup. But I got a little bit bigger one. This is from Tales of Festival this year. It's super cute. There's in like an illustration of a bunch of the characters from the series in their Tales of Festival get up. It's a mirror. It's a pretty nice size. Overall it's just really cute. For McKay books I got a uh, resale I assume from a Tails Cafe or something like that. Uh, it has Leia in her bathing suit. I just got it because she's my favorite from Tales of Exilia. From the Tails store I got a Luke keychain. There were a bunch of these styles uh, with different characters. They were usually like main characters from a game uh, and had like their their sword that is like iconic for them to use and has like a little image of them and there are different quotes that they're known for saying. So I got a small cup from Tales of Zestiria. There are four designs. They are modeled off of the uh, Kamui transformations from Zestiria. So there's two of uh, Sure and there's one of Rose. Uh, Sure is the water and earth one and Rose is fire and wind. And red is my favorite color, obviously. And I also really like fire, and this one's my favorite, and it's kind of the design that I'm like, if I were to like cosplay Rose's Kamui outfit, I would do the one with Lila, because it's red and it's pretty. So this is not from Japan, but it's Tales related, so I'm gonna include it anyway. Japan haul plus New York Comic Con haul. I saw this keychain from Tales of the Abyss. I've never seen this before. I didn't see this when I was in Japan. Like, there were a bunch of different ones from different series, and I thought about getting the one from Exilia, which had Mila, Leia, and Elise, because I love the girls of Exilia. But I also really love Luke, Guy, and Ash, so I had to get this one. I think at that same K-Books, I got a Hikaru pin. I had not seen this before, and I don't collect many pins. But I think I'm just gonna start putting them all in my work bag because like I work at a manga and light novel publishing company. We took a trip to the Tokyo Tower on our last night in Tokyo and I was excited to see these really really cute charms of the Tokyo Tower and then like a little flower and so I found these in red, green, and blue along with other colors that I don't care about. I got the red one for me, the green one for my Fu, and the blue one for my Umi. In Akihabara, we went to some huge used game store, and I've been wanting to find some like games made for younger children that I could play to practice my Japanese, because like that's the level I'm at now. So I figured uh, Pokemon Blue would be a great chance to practice. Also, I love Pokemon, and like I already know what happens in Pokemon, so that will help. And then I found Ray Earth. I was like, oh my gosh. I have no idea if this game's even good, but it was $2, so I got it. I got a, an adorable Cardcaptor Sakura washcloth. That I like the colors, I really like the illustration. Tina's actually cosplayed this Sakura outfit, and I'm always like, it's Tina! I have Tina! 
Tina on my washcloth. I got a cute notepad from Cardcaptor Sakura. It has her uniform on one side and her like iconic outfit on the other. Then I got a standard notebook uh, that's like lined and stuff from Cardcaptor Sakura as well. It has like uh, her star wand, the little key, and uh, cards on it. It's really cute. So I only bought one thing from the Evangelion store in Paparco. 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 I don't know. From Ikebukuro. I got the Asuka one because she's my fave and I still want to cosplay her plug suit. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I still want to. It has like Unit 02 on it and Nerve on the other side and they're just like really stylish looking. And now we get to the food. We got stuff like uh, barley tea. So Brett and I discovered that we love barley tea. I picked up a bunch of Kit Kats because I needed them. So I have some matcha. I also have another matcha that I'm almost done with. Almost done with the melon flavor and almost done with the sakura matcha. The matcha is definitely my favorite. The melon's okay. The sakura matcha is pretty good, but the matcha flavor. Of course we bought Pocky there, but like I was not gonna settle for like the normal Pocky or like any Pocky that I can regularly find in New York City, which is like a fair amount of different kinds. But I got a matcha one. It's super good. This is my favorite. So I got an orange peel, which I don't like as much as the matcha, but it's still good. It's interesting. And we also got a Brazilian orange. I actually haven't eaten this yet. I haven't tried it. Let's see. This is straight up orange. It almost looks like cheese. I know it's not, but it looks like shitty cheese. Mmm. This is really good. It does taste like orange. It tastes like like candy orange or chocolate orange or something like that. So you know that candy in Spirited Away that they throw at like the little like the little soap ball creatures? I found it. It's super cute. I can't read the kanji on here, but I can read that it says Sakura something. I just got this one because I thought it was super cute. While we were at Daiso, we bought some curry. And this was like a, no, this is the medium hot one. We also got a mild one because I'm a baby and I like mild curry. And last but not least, something I am super, super excited about. So while we were in Mitaka going to the Ghibli Museum, we stopped in like a Lawson. It was one of the convenies. I found these cute Splatoon things. I think they're, 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 they're gummies. Yeah, they're, they're gummy candies, but you get to make them. So I am going to do that tomorrow. I think there's like a powder. Yeah, there's a powder. You add water, you like mix it, and then you wait. And it makes gummies. All right, so that's pretty much everything that we got in Japan. There were some other figurines and a bunch of other like gotcha stuff that Brett got that like some are on his shelf and I don't know where others are. So I'm not gonna like go like hunting around for them and moving stuff. But he got some like Ava stuff and, and a little Gundam thing. It was cute. Thank you for watching. I also have a vlog coming about like what I've been up to, Japan trip, going to New York Comic Con, having like a wedding reception and stuff like that. I also have like a like a vlog that's really just like a video of like places we went to in Japan and that will be coming soon. So yeah, please stay tuned for those. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. See you next time. What you doing, Dylan?